Hey everybody, it's Brian with The Bound Web Design here with another Squarespace tutorial for you. Today we're going to be talking about one that I've actually made a video about before. I just found out recently from a viewer though that the audio on it was pretty bad. You couldn't hear it very well. And so I want to make this video to make up for that and get it replaced. But anyhow, I'm appreciative of the viewer for pointing that out so that it doesn't continue to get watched and nobody be able to hear the video but it was on how to add a calendar to your squarespace website and so that can be kind of tricky with the way the cal the calendar block is set up you have to actually pull in from events you can pull in from events and blog or something else but it, you're going to want to pull in from events so because that's what a calendar is all, all about right this is about having events listed out in a calendar form so anyhow we're going to jump over my screen and i'm going to show you how to get it all set up right now okay so we're here on my demo website and i'm just going to add a blank section here to the home page and we'll put this calendar block in there just for the demo purposes here show you how to do this so we're going to drop one in here between this meet the team section and the testimonial section that I have created on this demo thing, demo website. So we'll add a blank section here and I want to take the fill screen toggle and turn it off. That way we have complete control of the height of the section. Um, we're going to add block and add, pick a calendar block here. And then now you can see I can take this and move it. And it's got two blocks from the top. And we're going to make it to where it's got two blocks on each side. So it's kind of centered up in the section. So you can see here we've got two blocks below, two blocks to the left, two blocks to the right, two blocks above. Okay. And now we want to click on the calendar. You want to click on the pencil there. And let's see where these events you see they have these three events in there where are they coming from it shows it's coming from the, the blog all right we don't want events in your calendar coming from a blog so we've got to create another collection to pull from so you can see right here that they events blog post products or gallery images can be displayed in a calendar so we got to create one of those pages so we're going to want to create an events page so we're going to just save this as is. We're going to exit. And then we're going to go into pages over here. And we're going to go to our not link section here because we want this events page to not be seen by anybody on our website. So we'll put it not linked. And then we will just pull information in from it to our calendar. So we'll click plus there and we'll choose an events page. And it doesn't matter what it looks like because nobody's going to see it. So we'll just choose this first one and we'll take that one off of there and just have it be labeled events and then now you can see all of these events are in january of 2026 so we want to get them in april of 2025 because that's what month it is currently at the time of recording so i'm going to click the three dots here go into settings and then i'm going to change the date and time here and i'm going to arrow back to april 2025 and I'm gonna today is April the 28th and so I'm gonna put one on April the 29th and one on April the 30th so that they're both in the future but in this current month so what you saw there the event start is April the 29th and we got to pick the event end as well. It's April 29th at 11 a.m. So the end of it would need to be at least on April 29th because it can't end before it starts. And they're going to go ahead and go with noon. It was 11 a.m. So 11 a.m. to noon. That should take care of that. So we'll go save. And then we'll go back into the, the three dots, the settings for this event too. And we'll change it to April the 30th. Of 2025 and we'll leave 11 a.m. event end with we'll the arrow back for it as well 
the 30th noon will save okay and now that it's saved we can go click the site title there to go back to our home page and we'll go into edit mode and we will click on that calendar and then click on the pencil to go into the editor for the calendar and you can see here now you have blog or events to choose from whereas before we only had blog because there was no events page so we're going to select the events page and you'll see now that there's only events for the 29th and the 30th so we'll save it we'll exit we'll go into full preview here full screen preview and you can see you got an event on each of those dates event one event two and you can see it's got a description there it's got the time but then it has a description with filler text and where that comes from is the the oh what is it this the summary let me look let's just look here i can find it i can't remember what it's called though so i'm going to go back out of that let's go into event one go into the settings and the excerpt that's the word that i couldn't think of so that's where this text comes from so you can see we can take this and we can change it to this is a description of event one and then we save that and then now you'll see when we up oh, we may have to go back out let's see here maybe we have to refresh our screen okay there it is this is a description of event one and then you'll see there event two still has that filler text on it so that's all that you can see from here so that's really all that you need to adjust on the events page or in those in, in those ind individual events the settings for them because that's all you're going to see the, only, the other thing would be the image i don't know how i could forget that so let's go back to the events page here and click event one and go into the settings of it and you see the image right there so we can remove that image and then we will let's search for images and see just we'll pick a random picture that's on here and so we'll go with this picture of the top of a body some sort of small body of water put that on there save it and then go back to demo website site title there and to get back to the home page you can see how the images change now so again to do that you just go into the settings of that event by clicking the three dots and then clicking settings and then you just remove the stock image that's on there and then you can either search for images that are on your website already or you can add an image here so we can click that it's going to take a second because we're making this video got some pictures of myself there we could go back into downloads and we can add oh let's just pick a random image here so we let that load up we go save and then we may have to refresh again so we refresh and you see that image has changed now too so that's all there is to it though if you found this useful please leave a like and subscribe and if you would like me to build your squarespace website for you my contact information is in the description below